The results of vegetation control through grazing have been spectacular for the biodiversity of the park. It has restored a considerable expanse of open water, leading to increased quantity and diversity of birds in the park. The density of wintering birds has increased by more than 400%, and previously rare species such as the bittern, the cattle egret, and the squacko heron now breed. Herons are more abundant. Populations of fish, amphibians, terrapins, and orchids have also increased. Another action taken to restore biodiversity has been the reintroduction of species that had disappeared, such as the purple gallinule and the red-crested pochard, which are now well-established and breeding in the Albufera. Activities also include the control of invasive species whose presence is detrimental to the indigenous flora and fauna. These are species such as the Florida turtle, feral cats, carp and various alien plants. In order to avoid danger to bird life, some overhead electricity wires have been removed and the cables buried. The restoration of riverine woodland and conservation of the orchids are also priority objectives. In addition, continual vigilance over the whole park has led to a reduction in hunting and poaching of fish, a decrease in fires and more general compliance with park regulations. The management of the Albufera is not directed exclusively towards biodiversity. One of the objectives is to maintain and restore traditional uses such as eel fishing, rice cultivation in San Marjal, cane and reed handicrafts. These activities form part of the cultural heritage of the region and merit protection. Specific restoration works have also permitted the recuperation of a valuable architectural heritage. An essential cornerstone for the management of Salbufera is the monitoring and supporting research program. Various monitoring activities are undertaken in the park. A weather station collects daily weather data that is forwarded to the National Weather Institute and incorporated into the park database. The monitoring of water quality is carried out in conjunction with the Government Water Resources Department. A particularly watchful eye is dedicated to the levels of nitrates, phosphates and other pollutants present in the waters of the park. Since 1988, Information has been compiled systematically on the bird populations, migration, breeding, progress of reintroduced species, etc. Bird monitoring has been achieved through various census counts, scientific ringing, and the logging of site records. Visitors' contributions are also incorporated into the database. Equally, the objects of monitoring are the effects of grazing on the vegetation and public use. The number, origin and category of visitor are recorded. The Dennis Bishop Laboratory is fully furnished with scientific equipment in support of the work of the park and at the disposition of research projects carried out by other organisations. More than 20 research groups and scientists from many national and international universities and institutions undertake studies of botany, zoology, geology, ecology, etc. in collaboration with the park. A major part of the research activities is conducted under the auspices of TAIB, that's T-A-I-B, standing for the Albufera International Biodiversity Group consisting of scientists from several leading universities and conservation bodies throughout Europe. Since 1989, research has been carried out on biodiversity, ecology, environmental change, and the effects of park management. 
The research results are made available by means of a variety of publications and web pages. A milestone in the dissemination of results has been the publication of the Salbufera Biodiversity Catalogue, which records more than 3,000 species of animals, plants and fungi present in the park. The contribution made to science by the natural park is fundamental, but of overriding importance contribution to guaranteeing the conservation of species and ecosystems.